Hello, everyone. Happy World Card Making Day. My name is Michelle Lidsmith, and I'm from Stamping Clare. I'm from Melbourne in Australia. Thanks for joining me today. Um, it's great to have you here. I hope you have been enjoying all the presentations that the Crafty Collaborations team have put together. And thank you for Stephanie for organizing and doing so much work behind the scenes. Uh, today, I have got a fun fold card to share with you. And uh, it's a simple fun fold, so I hope you enjoy what I share. What I'm sharing today is about the language of music and something close to my heart. And the reason I've chosen it is um, I think that it's a different way that we can express ourselves and that we can be spoken to as well. Um, we all share a love of music and of whatever genre we share. And uh, I will share with you a little bit of my background and why I think it's uh, something that really likes to surround yourself with. Um, being that as my chosen topic of what I would like to share with you, I have chosen a, a, a Christmas classic bundle in our catalogue, which has some music designer series paper um, to share with you. So I will turn my camera around so you can see um, what is um, what I'm sharing. So the Christmas classic bundle is part of the joy um the joy of christmas suite and it's from page 28 to 31 of the catalog so i will be working with this particular bundle it's got some designer series paper uh and some specialty paper as well so and the the specialty paper's got the music um as well and so it does just the regular designer series paper. We not only have um, music themed products in our annual cat mini catalog, we've got annual catalog. So I'm thinking in particular of um, the, let's see, uh, I've just gone like, okay, enjoy the rhythm set that. And we've got the Merry Melody embossing folder. We've got um, lots of ways you can incorporate music themed uh, products. Now, my background is my mum uh, was a music teacher, as many of you are aware, and um, she also was a music directress, uh, a choir directress. And so we were kind of taken, my sister and I were taken to all the different choir practices and things like that. And uh, I was immersed in music, and um, we were in churches singing and enjoying the hymns and the harmonies, and we just loved it. So, um, and my dad, he'll say he would say he wasn't um, musical, but he actually could hold a tune and he played the harmonica. So I, I think he was very musical, and so that really helped me in the set. As my uh, daughter grew, uh, when my daughter was born, Cassidy, we, I used to take her to all the choir practices. So from uh, one choir practice to another, she'll be on the church pew, and uh, she'll be. They're sleeping while we have a choir practice, and there were plenty of people to be babysitters. So we call on the go and they'll be all their way to carry us. No shot to the babysitters. So I will continue while I'm uh, sharing with you the card. So I've got a Pebble Park card base, and it's just a regular card base. And I have got another sheet of basic white. Now, this is pretty much. A regular card base, but it's not a thick card base, with a little bit cut off. Yeah, right. So it's 14, so this is 14.3 centimeters, whereas a regular card base would be 14.8. Now I'm going to show you the scoring, and it's very easy. <clears throat> now I think with music, you find that. It is, you will find it around happy times and sad times, and no matter what event in life, there's music. You might listen to music while you're kind of thing. Um, my favorite genre of music is Southern Gospel, and I like country, so it's sort of in the same um, 
theme kind of thing. And um, I'm just going to score this at 10.5. So always use your gray blade. I'll bring that down so you can see where I'm scoring. So 10.5. That's the halfway mark. Yeah, and I find a lot of times when you think of an event, you might think of a particular music attached to it, whether you have an occasion or a wedding, you might say that was my wedding song, or that was um, something joyous that happened, or this is sad, okay, you might think of that, but even the sad occasions, you think, oh, that was, you think of a person, you know, when you uh, remember the and the next one, so that's halfway. Now I'm bringing this at 5.2, which is another halfway mark, right? Between the two, 5.2 and a half, basically. Or if you hear a song, you may think, oh, this is what I was doing. Oh, I remember this particular period in my life, or something like that. You know, it's different for everyone, and I think that's why it's a, it's a language, because it speaks to us in different ways and you can communicate to different people with different types of music it is really powerful and uh, it, it for sure for me it can lift my spirit and help me now what i'm going to do you see this is exactly the same but i'm going to trim this down just a little by five millimeters so you you know, cut it down like that, but I find it easier to do. So then you can on one side a touch smaller. Okay. So let me know what is your picture of me. What do you listen to when you come up? Is there a favorite? Songs, types of songs that you like, instrumentals maybe that you like to listen to while you craft. I like a bit of Kenny G. I'm really varied. I like some, some smooth songs, just um, light, light, easy listening kind of songs. Okay, so we're going to score that. So this is um, the first fold. It's just a basic fold in half. And then the mountain fold. All right. All right. Now what I've got, so I've got basically my fold. So that's just going to sit like that and it's going to open like that. Now I've got a bit of the designer series paper, which is going to go in the front. So we're going to stick that down because that's going to form a card. And we're going to need to do some, a bit of die cutting. Now a little trick, or a tip, not no tricks. Um, so I'll just save you some paper. Just when you're applying the glue, whatever you're applying the glue, you're gonna apply the glue. Just, just it's up to you. But I'll tell you why once in a minute. Um, apply the glue around on the edges. Don't apply in the center because then we'll be able to reuse some of this paper. Isn't the paper pretty? Love it, so lovely. Now I'm going to bring the circle from the stylish shape size. Yeah, think about that. Do you go back to refer some older products? I, I tend to call this stick shape sometimes. So I think I'm also having an event today. Um you can catch that and tonight at 7 30 or on a, every Saturday night, whenever you're catching this, um every Saturday night for 12 weeks I'm having a 12 days of Christmas on my YouTube channel. So uh, please go and subscribe and uh, you can watch those so you can get notified when I'm live there um, for my 12 years of Christmas um, series. So it's getting near to Christmas. So we're going to run this through. So it's got to go through a, a couple of layers. So I'm just going to go making sure 
and I'll bring it back just for ease. That's going to put that. Now, my reasoning for, oops, oops. See that, the paper just ripped there, but that thing, hey, I can kind of camouflage. I'll put a bow there. And the cat's on the table because she wants to see what's going on. I just fix that up and then you'll see um, what we craft is the best, huh? No um, camouflage. Well, we sing a song, that's what we do. Okay, so that's going to pop up. Now, if I had to do in the center, you won't be able to use that. Right? I mean, you can, but now you're getting this cardstock and the designer's is paper. Right? So that's why I said don't put that. It's totally up to you. Now the next piece I've got is um, the same designer series, but we're going to use the reverse. And I'm going to stick that on here. Make sure the music not the right side up if you can find it how. I'm going back and forth. Let me get that there. I don't see the travel plan can get tricky. Oh, well, the embossing, Mary Miller embossing folder. Have you seen that sometimes? That's a bit tricky. I'm just going to stick that down there. I will have the tutorial for this. Um, I will send it out to newsletter subscribers. But I will also have it in a blog post later on this week. I won't have it done today only because um my blog's under construction at the moment but i will definitely have it so make sure you're following my blog if you want a tutorial for this it will have um both metric and imperial uh, so i'm just going to give you that and each week in my newsletter I have a new tutorial which I send my newsletter subscribers so it's a nice little bit of inspiration for you. I send at least one newsletter for a week, one big one and then when you have like big lots of promotions maybe I'll remind you of something. So if I in Australia, I um, have a current promotion along with the stamping up um, promotion, which is, they are offering free shipping on orders over $65 between the 9th and the 11th. And I have a free card kit offering of four cards and everything with it for if you purchase, make a purchase of $100 or more between today and Wednesday. All right, so I come up uh, just in a wide circle, which goes there, okay? So we're going to do some influencing. That is one of my favorite things to do. On oh, not on this, we're going to do some stamping on that, but we're going to do some influencing on this thing. Now, this is the Mary Melody embossing folder, and I'm just going to, uh, which I've already embossed this piece, right? It's a basic wide, and I'm going to add a little bit of fun. Um, a mix of um, uh, very minor I've not done this com com board, this particular card in these before hurricane party and shake and spruce. So let's see how we go. And you can see I've been working some other colors here. So I just wanted to bring in, I was wondering whether to go from dark to light for a change. I love winging things and seeing what happens. <laughs> well, sometimes you can do these things, hey? Ideally, let's see. 
Keep that open. And bring the dark green a bit more. Um, sorry, the woman line twist. Oh no, parakeet. Well, let's mix them up a bit. You find that. And then you put granny. That, that. The shade of Paris we're adding on top. And I'm going to add a little more. Because I want a bit of depth there. Hmm, I quite like that. The sticker on the back of my color has been okay. We'll leave him for later. Sort him out. Alright, now for some stamping on our white piece which I bought earlier. Just a recommendation if you're using a photo polymer always use a piercing mat it's going to give you better cushioning and uh, give you a better image and i was going to say as i speak i cannot find it but here it is so let's go ahead um Shade of spruce leaves. Right, it's all from that Christmas plastic bundle. And maybe some Maybe a little bit of that, just stamped off. Just kind of want it in the corner. And I will color that. Um, in. Now I'm going to bring in my pebbled cup ink and we'll stamp the sentiment. I have already mounted these, mounted these just for a little bit of fun. Okay, so we've got our sentiment and we will, I'm just going to stamp over this in, um, just give it a test, the piece on earth. And I hope that goes over. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Now, because I was going to color those two blends, but I might just go with some watercoloring. Not not watercolor per se, but a watercolor pencil just to give it a little bit of color. Just some quick coloring. So it just adds a little bit of shading. Nothing too over the top. All right, I like that. Hope you're liking that. It's a little bit of a mark there. That's all right. Okay. Now, we can put some embellishments. I think it needs something else. But let's put this on. Okay. So we'll stick that on there. Now, to put it on the card, what I basically are going to do is just, it's going to slot in there. But you only want it to stick on this side. So, well, I would put, you know, it's going to stick there. And you know that it's going to be there. So just put your dimensionals there. And hold this nicely flat and just pop it in. 
Now I'm gonna stick this in here. That's nice and vibrant, isn't it? Do we want red ribbon or do we want the check ribbon? Let's check. <laughs> Let's check what we want. Red or check? Oh, I think red. It needs a bit of oomph there against the green. How do you turn the balls like rabbit ears? I don't like how I just did it. I um, generally do it sometimes, depending on the ribbon. I may go with the rabbit ears. Uh -huh. We are nearly there. Scissors. So we can, I think that looks nice there, but make sure you stick it on the outer so it doesn't inhibit um, a closure of that. Um, or when opening, I should say, when you want to open the card. So just um, there. So they still can pop out. Next, I'm going to add some of these. These are the part of the sweet <clears throat> it's got music knife, but I might put those little red gems there. Um, and ideally, you would want to take your big tool for this and oh yes, I can find mine. <laughs> so let's I just release that blue here and it doesn't go crazy. Um, Because having noticed the glue can come out in a mad rush. These could be these are probably meant to be berries, but it will be what it is, what you want it to be. Okay. I think we are done. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other cards I made using the same um, fold. So this is one a bit more rusty, and I went to two parties, so it's the same paper, same sweet. Um, I did some pool parties, some music notes from that uh, same embellishments, and that opened up like that. Pebble Park, Pebble Park base. Um, this is a real red card base, and I did the Mary Mary Lady Embossing folder at an angle there. And there you are. That's another variation. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you go around and watch everyone's beautiful presentations. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your World Card Making Day, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.